Hello and welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us where we present you a lot of videos to show uh, motorhome in more detail than just simply pictures that a lot of motorhomes on the internet just the pictures. Pictures do thousands of words. I believe video do millions of words and when you come look at the motorhome they'll do zillions of words I guess but a billion words a million words are better than thousands of words. Anyway let's start talking about this 2000 wind sport. Uh, Windshields are free from any cracks or any star chips I see. I uh, got a little bit of clear coat coming off here. Uh, you know, it, it being a lighter color is not hard to see from far away. When you get close, you see it. This motorhome, I'm really excited to show you. Despite some age-related flaws, it's a beautiful motorhome. The condition is just a gorgeous inside. You'd, you'd love the inside. We put a $2,500 worth of hardwood floors. We'll talk about all that later. Uh, windows seems to be not foggy. I got a little tint on the top. Uh, tires, I couldn't see date code, but look at it close to. No dry out of cracks. Maybe one of the tire I caught, it was a 2011 or something. So they're seven years old. If you want a new tire, it's about $1,200. This, uh, you know, the road track, one of these uh, Chinese tires or Asian tires, you get them cheaper. You want a Michelin, you'll be looking at about $2,500, $3,000 for all six tires. You can put two tires in the front, but I don't see any reason to change tires right now. Maybe get another year out of it or something. All right, let's see. Uh, tires are, we'll, we'll talk more about tires as we go along. We have a nice storage, light works here. How about that? It was a trading mode home. As those folks are subscribed to our YouTube channel, you notice we don't sell any repos. Repos means trouble. Okay, this one is wide open. I know why. There is a generator there. About 910 hours. This motorhome is, I think, just a little over 30,000 miles. Ford V10, that's your Onan 5,000 watt generator. It's two roof air conditioners. Okay, let's come around this way. Slide out topper seems to be in good shape. No tattered up. When we get up on top of the roof, we'll see it again from a top view. That's your uh, typical wash bay area, wet, wet bay, whatever. Got outside shower, sewer hose, light works. I like that. Little stuff like that, you know. It shows you previous owner needs cover missing. We can top that with the, it'd be, I think, red or orange. I don't know what goes out here. We'll, we'll put that on. I think it'd be orange, red on back. We'll pop that on. We have one of those cover. Again, take a look at these tires. Even though they're 2011 or uh, seven, eight years old, they're not showing any checking, okay? No dry rider crack, got lots of deep treads. I mean, if you are really, really uh, tire crazy, you can get away putting a two new tires. It all just depends on your preference. We go to a lot of car club and where the Michelin Goodyear people come there and they say that uh, uh, tires could be good up to seven, eight, ten years, depending on the condition, but some RV guys are they bend out of Torah they go out of shape for having anything over five year old but if you are one of those then you can have new tires got look at these lights works on every compartment very clean it's a oh what do you call it? fiberglass so no rust more storage and this one is passed through if you would see from top light works here those oh there is a serpentine built is that a used one or new one maybe it's a new one well, it's got numbers on it. That's good to have serpentine built on your 6.8 liter V10. All right, so look at this wall. No D-LAM. Uh, maybe just a little bubble I see right here. Maybe size of a 4 inches uh, diameter or something. Pretty clean. Decals are in great shape, not tattered up, sun damaged. Look at this. Wind sport looks good. Got a little scrub right here. That's your outside water 50 amp connection that is a big plus on these cheaper gas coaches uh, not a 30 amp so you can run both roof air conditioners little scrub on back here maybe a little bit right here back looks good got 5,000 pound towing capacity reach type 3 hitch it does have a spare tire some of these motorhomes don't come with one this one has one uh, it was sold in Georgia originally it looked like it all right, uh, backup monitor. So you got another slide for bedroom. Uh, this side looks good too. Few little scratch, typical places where people back in. This is a 35D as in Delta, that's the model. 
a 2004 win. Actually, if you look in the book, they didn't make 35D until 2001. Sometimes manufacturers, they do that. Turn all these lights off when I get back out. Awning rod. Uh, it, they made it in 2000, but the model is out of a 2001 lineup. 36 and a half feet long motorhome, LP tank. Look at those HWH leveling jacks. And you get to see underneath. Uh, nothing uh, major going on, just a maybe surface rust. Even Southern Motorhome will have that. You can go camp in Florida and you'll get, get that. Tires, one more time. Take a look at this. Roadmaster tires, no dry rod at crack that I can see unless you put a microscope. You may see it, but I don't see any uh, weather checking or dry rod at cracks. Uh, uh, continues here on back. The, the, I'm talking about the uh, decals in the same shape as one other side. Sometime I have noticed one, one wall would be worse than other. This one looks like it was kept either in a barn or something. For 18 years old, all these decals are in really good shape. Um, not sun dried. I believe there was another storage here. We don't have key, but take a look at all my pictures. Actually, my daughter's pictures. Nicole's doing all this stuff, so you can be calling her. Uh, Patty awning seems to be in really good shape. No tears at the edge, I mean, on, on the corners. No pinholes. It's a vinyl, and uh, it's in good shape. A lot of times, vinyl kind of deteriorate faster than a acrylic, but this uh, patio awning, no, no complaints here. Uh, really nice uh, color matching with this tan and white. All right, I think we did open that. Those are your batteries, uh, coach battery. There was 617. We had to put a little jump box on it, but you, because it was sitting around, you could put a one additional battery. This is the coach batteries, the chassis batteries in the front. I don't know if he opened this or not, but I'm gonna open it again. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. There we go. Yeah, I had not opened it. Oh, those are some wooden pieces from we did a hard hardwood floor. Lights so far, 100 percent Everything works. Alright, so uh clear coats also coming off here a little bit on that door and a little bit on this wheel well. And then you saw on the front what I talked about. If you really, really picky and you wanted some body shop to paint this, uh, we're talking a few hundred bucks, five, six, seven hundred dollars. They can match it, paint it, or, you know, it's a 2000 model motorhome. All right, let's step in this motorhome. You're going to love what we've done inside. Those are who you are subscribed channel viewers. They know that we put hardwood floors in everything. I'm going to take my shoes off all the way on the bottom. So even steps has hardwood, it's a laminate. Yeah, I'll shut the door behind you. Boy, it feels nice. It's mid-afternoon video in South Carolina. It's about 89, 90 degrees already. So uh, look, take a look at this. Now, byproduct of this laminate hardwood floors, when slide comes in and out, you could probably hardly see, but it, it, it creates a little micro scratch, scratches. Can you see them here? Um, just a little bit, okay? A few places. Not on this side, but there are about two, three places. That absolutely come with I'd rather have those scratches than a dirty carpet okay so it had a carpet no more carpet and what we done on this coach we went around left the carpet on a doghouse but as you can see the hardwood goes all the way throughout the fuel paddle and all the way down there so uh, so as you can see both captain and co-captain chairs swivels let's get up here it's got an old style TV, but you could get a digital tuner, still use it, or you can put a big 50 inch TV here on top. I've seen people do all kinds of stuff. All right. Uh, 34,523 miles. Engine runs good. That loud noise you hear is warning you that jacks are down. So, leveling jacks are down. Uh, HWH leveling, they're like manual. You can uh, operate them with this joystick here. Uh, take a look at this wall under the window. No perforation, any sign of any water intrusion or any damage. Um, okay, got a CD player, radio, got tilt steering, a heated mirror, power mirror, uh, just regular stuff, 910 hours on generator. That's your generator crank button. Backup monitor, it works. Uh, indeed, let's see, we come on. Yep, we see the back. I don't know if that would reflect in the video or not. 
Take a look at these seats. No tears or rips or no sign of abuse. Uh, both seats are in really good shape. Let's see over here. Dash is in a good shape too. Look at the dash. Very good shape. Some of the other products like Winnebago, they have a rippled out. I mean, nothing wrong with the Winnebago. They just use a different material. A good shape. Uh, we got some compartment door up above. Same thing, walls here are strong. I mean, they're, they're solid. No perforation or any sign of a water damage. So I like this, this little table that kind of tucks away and goes back onto the wall. But, uh, so you got a booth dinette there, but see here, two person, that will swivel. And you could imagine picture with me, you can, you can eat, eat snacks or play playing cards or whatever for these two persons right here. Pretty neat, so let's see. That should uh, swivel. I just want to make sure it does. Yep, it's got those levers, so it'll swivel. So you get the picture. And then this thing, you can put it up. So you get the, you get the picture. It goes back on the wall, tucks away. How about that? Uh, look, at, look at the condition of this day and night shades, OK? I pulled it the wrong way. Look at this, no condensation stain, the people didn't leave a window open, or... I'm pretty impressed with the 2000 model motorhome. Uh, I may have seen in the last 18 years of doing a motorhome business, you know, maybe thousands of motorhomes, hundreds of motorhomes, but thousands of, I would say. So, you don't see a motorhome that, that was kept in a good shape, maybe one out of a, I don't know, 10 or 15, we see someone has just meticulously taken care of it. Look at here, L the same thing goes with this day and night shades. No signs of any, uh, like what do you call, abuse or no stains. Oh, we've got some storage back here behind the sofa bed. A good size uh, storage. And this bed will open up all the way up to here. You've seen those motorhome beds, they come out all the way here. Booth dinette also folds down into the bed. We have some storage under the booth dinette. All the books and manuals are here. Records are all located within this little folder. Four Winds Motorhome Owner's Manual. So it's got all this stuff. Goes with the motorhome. Lots of storage up above. Goes throughout the slide. A deep slide out. I mean, I would say it's, a, it's over three feet slide, 36 inches or better. Big slide. Gives you plenty of living room area. Uh, a little slide out chemical tray or whatever, you, you know, clean up supply. Take a look at this. Good, solid uh, Formica or, you know, it's not a solid surface, but it's a three-burner gas stove in really, really good shape. Oven, wow, no signs of any pizza cheese been melted on the thing. Man, that's either people were anal or they didn't use it much. That's amazing for 18-year-old motorhome. This thing gets a little tricky sometimes. All right, All right Samsung microwave oven, turntable. So you got some... Uh, storage up on top, there was storage up there on top, and that's where, wait a minute, before we forget, I think this is where all your dinosaur VCR, DVD player, all your video distribution stuff, we don't get into this. You can spend a weekend and go ahead and put your Blu-ray player and put your nice TV, you can do all that. Look at the ceiling, they're solid ceiling, really good shape, no smell by the way, no uh, odor of any uh, mildew or a uh, pad odor or smoke, importantly, no smoke. It's a very neutral, clean RV. All right, we've got uh, pantry here, a double door refrigerator, runs on LP, and I just turned it on about an hour ago. Man, it's, it's ice cold. I'm going to turn it off and leave them open so they won't stink away. It's got a little latch. You can open them up so it won't shut all the way, something like that. All right come into the center part of the coach. Hey, got a little bit of storage here. I would put some of my water, water bottles. Nice. Motorhomes, they use every single corner and cubby 
here we have a little coat closet. Some drawers, big drawers on the bottom. And the center part, I like what Four Wind does. They put a household bathroom door. Now check this out. It had carpet in 2000 model. We ripped the carpet out and put a hardwood. I mean, imagine yourself on a toilet, getting off and you got a carpet there. Man, it just, that's why we put hardwood floors in everything. Look how clean this thing is. Very clean. I like those little palmetto trees. It makes you feel like I want to go to the beach. All right, all the lights works here. Medicine cabinet, got plenty of counter space. Got another storage up above. We'll probably need to change the switch right here. We'll take care of that because fan is intact. It's got the, all right, got to have that fan working. We'll take care of that. All right, we have a little privacy curtain here, or privacy door, if you'd call that. It just locks in place right here. So two slide out gives you plenty of room. Some area rug, we took it off from old carpet and left it here. If you want it, you can have it or throw it away. So look at here, the floor comes in all the way back in the bedroom. Got an older TV, you can change it out. Oh, it's not plugged in, I see why it won't come on. Oh, lots of vanity counter space. They even use the corner. I don't know if you would store anything here. It's a water tank here. Maybe you can put some pillows. I don't know. That's your converter back there. How about that easy access and all your breaker panel. Nice little vanity. More room here. Another little coat closet. Some drawers. Let's see what's under the bed. Bed should have some kind of a storage right here. Let's see. Yep, got a plenty of storage under the bed. How about that? Now, I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to mention here, when we open a both slide outs, these slide outs seem to about two to maybe four, two to three inches, it comes back itself. It's got a hydraulic uh, shaft. It may be leaking back in, valve. There's nothing leaking outside. The way hydraulic slides works, the fluid travels out of a tank and goes in the shaft, opens the slides. And when slides come back in, the fluid travels back into the reservoir. I think the valve is leaking or something. We may have it checked out, or it looks like a few previous owner have camped in it. Uh, seals are very, very tight outside. I'll probably show you before we go out and go up on top of the roof. But it does have issue that once you open the slide out all the way, it's sucking back in two to three inches. Depends. I mean, I thought about putting a little two by four or something here. You can, you know, that that would be rigging it, but. Uh, right now, our RV tech, he didn't want to tackle this. He doesn't understand. We have to take it to a big RV shop, and they're a month out behind. So um, we may try to take care of it, or we sell it as it is. All right, let's get up on top of the roof and show you uh, what the roof looks like. All right, before you go up on top of the roof, I want to show you. Look at the seals. They're in really good shape. This is the slide that kind of travel back in about a couple of inches all the time. I, I don't know. But seals looks really good shape. They're tight, so no water leaks or anything like that. All right, let's get up on top of the roof. All right, we're on top of the roof in really, really good shape. I'm impressed with the roof. It's a rubber roof. Uh, all the caulking seems to be in good shape. The back cap, take a look at it. No dry rot cracks on the seal. Uh, come up front. Uh, the Looks like they scrub a little bit, but no broken shroud. Got max air on top. They previous owner trying to paint it black to make it look a little darker. Maybe there's one little patch here. Refrigerator vent looks good. Another Max Air. Your antenna, all the caulking is on antenna looks good. The front shroud is intact, no tattered, no, no cracks or nothing. Coleman Mac. Look at this front roof seal. Really good shape. Alright, so we're done with the roof. We may jump on the road and see how this thing drives so you get to see. And look at the slide out topper. I guess you could see them on boats. Both of them are in good shape. All right, let's get back down and we'll test drive this video.
All right, we're driving about 40 miles an hour around town. Um, runs good. Steering doesn't seem to be, um, you know, pulling right or left. Uh, let me change the lane and kind of easy to drive. 40 miles an hour. Wow, the cruise works at 40, so we're going to do a, a little bit of interstate driving too. But, you know, around town, I wanted to show you how it drives. My backup monitor works. By the way, air conditioning is ice cold. I love that. I love the dash air working in it. Uh, so it runs good on the city roads. We're going to get on the highway just here soon. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to take uh, Interstate 385. We're going to test the uh, driving ability on Interstate. It accelerate good, 35, 40, 45, 50, about 55 miles an hour, entering a highway here, runs good. Take a look at the steering wheel. I'm not fighting. Maybe steering wheel sits a little left, you know, the the, the, the steering wheel itself, but it doesn't pull left or right, steer straight, 60 miles an hour. Let me get it by 65. That's when you get most fuel mileage, 60 to 65. If you want to go faster than that, get you a Corvette, Porsche or BMW or something like that or Camaro but you know you're not gonna fly around on the motorhome or you can get a some 500 horse diesel pusher but we're gonna pay a whole lot more money than this okay starting with this motorhome we're gonna put one good price my youtuber always asks me why don't you put price we just use YouTube video as our uh, supplement to our advertising on RVT RV trader but we're going to ask $19,995 so right at $20,000, and that's what we're going to take. With the $2,500 worth of a hardwood floors, uh, runs good. Got few flaws that you saw, clear coat of the slide comes in two inch. It's a camp ready. We'll make sure generator runs, jack works. They do air conditioning work. We'll hand you key. You can go camp for $19,995. This is our pilot video. We're going to announce our price, and that's what we're going to take. So if you see this video two months later, more than likely someone already grabbed it or we may negotiate at that time but it's going to be a firm price of nineteen thousand nine ninety five give nicole a call at eight six four five six nine five six three six that number again is eight six four five six nine fifty six thirty six text communication is preferred so text her at eight six four five six nine five six three six and we'll work by appointments only we do take trades. We also help financing. Older motorhomes like this are a little tougher to get financed, but we can certainly help you. But $19,995 is going to be firm price. We don't want to advertise for $22,500 and then take $2,500 off. So figure that. We we're asking $22,500. Now we're going to take our low bottom, $19,995. So you get $2,500 worth of a hardwood floors for free. I believe that's a great deal for this motorhome for in such a good condition um, so thank you for watching our video on this 2000 four winds wind sport model 35 d is in delta 36 foot two slide diesel, uh, gas motor with a low miles thanks again for watching this long video and look forward to earning your business have a great day